From extramarital affairs to pure undiluted lust on set, some of the stars of Hollywood's golden age just couldn't help their attraction. But following your passions has its own consequences. And for these stars, a love child they were not expecting was the result of their trysts. The response to having love children differed between these talented stars. As a matter of fact, some kept it so much a secret that you'd be shocked when you find out the truth. Renato Roberto Rossellini, The Political Outcast In the post-World War II era, Hollywood's glamour collided with the burgeoning innovations of European cinema. At the center of this cultural crossroads were Ingrid Bergman, the luminous Swedish actress, and Roberto Rossellini, the groundbreaking Italian director. Their passionate affair, ignited during the filming of Stromboli in 1950, would unleash a scandal of unprecedented proportions, shaking the very foundations of Bergman's personal and professional life. Amidst the stark beauty of Stromboli's rugged landscapes, Bergman and Rossellini found themselves caught in a whirlwind of desire, a love that knew no bounds. Yet their forbidden romance did not remain hidden for long. With the birth of Renato Roberto Rossellini, their love child, the scandal erupted into the public eye, shattering the illusions of Hollywood's golden age. In an era characterized by conservative values and strict moral codes, Bergman's extramarital affair and the scandalous birth of her illegitimate child were met with swift condemnation. The moral guardians of society, bolstered by the influence of the Catholic Church, castigated Bergman with a fervor that reached the hallowed halls of the U.S. Senate. The fallout was swift and severe. Bergman, once hailed as America's sweetheart, found herself vilified and exiled from the industry she had enchanted with her talent and charm. The scandal served as a stark reminder of the unforgiving nature of fame and the ever-shifting sands of societal morality. In the end, Bergman's fall from grace became a cautionary tale, a testament to the fragility of reputation and the price of passion in the unforgiving spotlight of Hollywood. Judy Lewis, the product of hot romance. In the golden era of Hollywood, amidst the dazzling lights and opulent sets, a clandestine romance unfolded between two of the industry's brightest stars, Clark Gable, the dashing king of Hollywood, and Loretta Young, the enchanting leading lady. Their on-screen chemistry was palpable, but it was behind closed doors where their passion truly ignited, away from the watchful eyes of studio executives and gossip columnists. Amidst the breathtaking landscapes of film sets, their affair flourished, defying the moral codes and societal norms of the time. Loretta, with her starry eyes and porcelain beauty, found herself swept away by Gable's charm. However, their love affair bore an unexpected consequence, a secret love child named Judy Lewis. Judy's existence remained hidden from the scrutinizing gaze of an industry built on illusions and perfection. Loretta, determined to protect her child from judgment, went to great lengths to conceal the truth, confiding only in the inner circles of Hollywood's elite. For years, the public remained oblivious to the real-life drama unfolding behind the scenes. Yet, as fate would have it, secrets have a way of surfacing. The revelation of Judy Lewis as the love child of Clark Gable and Loretta Young rocked the very foundation of Hollywood glamour. The charismatic Gable, known for his leading man charm, had a hidden legacy, while Loretta Young, revered for her virtuous on-screen personas, faced the scrutiny of a judgmental public. Judy, now a young woman, unveiled the long-guarded secret during a period of shifting norms and attitudes. The revelation sparked a media frenzy, casting a shadow on the shining reputation of one of Hollywood's most iconic leading men. As the golden age of Hollywood began to fade, the scandal surrounding Clark Gable and Loretta Young served as a poignant reminder of the complexities and contradictions lurking beneath the glitz and glamour of Hollywood. Tina Sinatra, The Legend's Secret Tina Sinatra's life is a poignant tale of love, secrecy, and eventual acceptance within one of Hollywood's most iconic families. Born on June 20, 1948, she was the result of a passionate but illicit affair between her mother, actress Ava Gardner, and the legendary singer Frank Sinatra. At the time of Tina's birth, Frank Sinatra was married to his first wife, Nancy Barbato Sinatra. However, as a result of his work, he met Ava, and it was love at first sight. 
the affair with Ava Gardner was one of the most publicized scandals of the era, adding to Sinatra's already complex personal life. As a result of the affair, Ava fell pregnant and decided to have the baby and named her Tina. Despite the intensity of their relationship, Sinatra never publicly acknowledged Tina as his daughter during her childhood. Growing up, Tina lived with her mother, Ava Gardner, and was raised without her father's presence. The circumstances of her birth were kept under wraps, shielded from the prying eyes of the media and the judgmental gaze of society. It wasn't until later in life that Tina learned the full truth about her parentage and the complexities of her father's relationships. Despite Sinatra's initial reluctance to publicly acknowledge Tina as his daughter, he eventually came to accept her as his own. As Tina matured and became more involved in her father's life, their relationship began to blossom. Frank Sinatra welcomed Tina into his family circle, introducing her to his other children and gradually integrating her into his public life. Over time, Tina Sinatra forged a close bond with her father, sharing in his triumphs and providing support during his struggles. Despite the challenges and complexities of their family history, Tina and Frank Sinatra developed a deep and meaningful connection that transcended the boundaries of bloodlines and societal expectations. Tina Sinatra's story is a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the power of love to overcome even the most formidable obstacles. Despite the unconventional circumstances of her birth and upbringing, Tina found her place within the legendary Sinatra family, ultimately embracing her identity and heritage with pride. Her journey serves as a reminder that family is not always defined by biology, but by the bonds of love and acceptance that unite us. Lucy Arnaz, The Controversial Child Lucy Arnaz's life is intertwined with the legacy of two of Hollywood's most iconic figures, her parents, Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz. Born on July 17, 1951, Lucy Arnaz entered the world amidst the whirlwind of her parents' fame and the groundbreaking success of their television show, I Love Lucy. Despite the outward image of glamour and success, Lucy Arnaz's birth was not without its share of controversy and challenges. Her parents, Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz, were at the pinnacle of their careers when they welcomed her into the world. However, behind the scenes, their marriage was far from perfect. Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz's relationship was marked by intense love and passionate conflicts. The strains of their careers, coupled with Desi's infidelities and struggles with alcoholism, placed a significant strain on their marriage. Despite their tumultuous personal lives, they continued to work together professionally, creating one of the most beloved television shows of all time. As the daughter of such famous and influential parents, Lucy Arnaz grew up in the spotlight, navigating the complexities of fame from a young age. She witnessed firsthand the highs and lows of her parents' careers and the toll that their tumultuous relationship took on their family. Despite the challenges, Lucy Arnaz forged her path in the entertainment industry, following in her parents' footsteps as an actress, singer, and producer. She carved out a successful career, earning acclaim for her performances on stage and screen. Throughout her life, Lucy Arnaz has honored her parents' legacy while also asserting her own identity and independence. Despite the controversies and challenges that accompanied her upbringing, she has emerged as a resilient and talented artist in her own right, leaving an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. The story of Lucy Arnaz serves as a reminder of the complexities of family dynamics and the enduring power of love and resilience in the face of adversity. Despite the fame and fortune that surrounded her, Lucy Arnaz navigated the highs and lows of life with grace and determination, ultimately carving out her place in the spotlight. Cheryl Crane, The Bane of Abuse her life is marked by a dramatic and tragic event that thrust her into the public eye at a young age. Born on July 25, 1943, she was the daughter of Hollywood actress Lana Turner and her third husband, restaurateur Stephen Crane. As anyone would expect, growing up, Cheryl was thrown into the glitz and glamour of Hollywood. Cheryl Crane experienced both the privileges and the pressures of her mother's fame. However, her childhood was also marred by turmoil and instability, particularly in her mother's romantic relationships. The most notorious incident in Cheryl Crane's life occurred on April 4, 1958, when she was just 14 years old. 
In a moment of desperation and self-defense, Cheryl fatally stabbed Johnny Stompanato, Lana Turner's abusive boyfriend, during a heated confrontation at their Beverly Hills home. The stabbing was ruled a justifiable homicide, as Cheryl was defending her mother from a violent attack by Stompanato. The sensational trial that followed captured the attention of the nation, shining a harsh spotlight on the private lives of Hollywood's elite. Despite the traumatic events surrounding Stompanato's death, Cheryl Crane was ultimately acquitted of any wrongdoing, with the court recognizing her actions as an act of self-defense. Following the trial, Cheryl Crane struggled to cope with the aftermath of the events and the public scrutiny that accompanied them. Despite the challenges she faced, she eventually found solace and stability in her personal life, marrying and raising a family of her own. In the years since Cheryl Crane has worked to overcome the shadows of her past and reclaim her own narrative, she has become an advocate for victims of domestic violence, using her own experiences to raise awareness and support for those in similar situations. Cheryl Crane's story serves as a reminder of the complexities of family dynamics and the devastating impact of domestic violence. Despite the tragedies she faced, she has emerged as a symbol of resilience and strength, using her platform to bring attention to important social issues and inspire others to overcome adversity. Sean Flynn, The Scandalous Love Child In the tumultuous late 1950s, the already storied life of Hollywood icon Errol Flynn took yet another dramatic turn with his entanglement in a steamy affair with Beverly Adland, a young starlet whose name would soon become synonymous with scandal. Flynn, renowned for his on-screen bravado and off-screen adventures, found himself irresistibly drawn to Adland an aspiring actress captivated by the glitz and allure of the Hollywood dream. As whispers of their affair reverberated through the canyons of Hollywood, a love child was born into the midst of their drama. Sean Flynn emerged as the tangible embodiment of their affair, a union that defied societal norms and studio expectations, transcending the scripted narratives of the silver screen. However, the scandal surrounding Flynn and Adland refused to remain confined within the gilded walls of Hollywood's inner circles. Tabloids eagerly feasted on the salacious details of their affair, painting Flynn not as the dashing hero of swashbuckling adventures, but as a flawed protagonist in the drama of his own life. For Flynn, whose personal life was already a canvas painted with controversies, the affair with Adland became a lightning rod for critics eager to tarnish his legacy, as legal troubles and a reputation for living on the edge already marked his personal life, the scandal only heightened the scrutiny and judgment he faced. The repercussions of Flynn's affair extended far beyond his romantic entanglements, casting a shadow over his entire existence and leaving a lasting stain on his once illustrious career. In the annals of Hollywood history, the affair between Errol Flynn and Beverly Adland stands as a cautionary tale of the perils of fame, passion, and the relentless scrutiny of public opinion. Mickey Rooney Jr., Living a Lie the story of Mickey Rooney Jr. is a fascinating tale of deception and revelation within one of Hollywood's most iconic families. Born on April 12, 1945, Mickey Rooney Jr. entered the world as the son of legendary actor Mickey Rooney and his second wife Betty Jane Reyes. At the time of Mickey Rooney Jr.'s birth, the public perceived him as the biological son of the celebrated actor, adding to the mystique and allure of the Rooney family dynasty. However, behind the scenes, a secret lurked that would eventually shake the foundations of this Hollywood household. It wasn't until later in life that the truth about Mickey Rooney Jr.'s parentage came to light. In a stunning revelation, it was disclosed that he was not biologically related to Mickey Rooney, but instead was the product of an extramarital affair between Betty Jane and musician Mel Torm. The revelation sent shockwaves through Hollywood and forever altered Mickey Rooney Jr.'s perception of his own identity and family history. Suddenly, he found himself caught in the cross-currents of a scandal that threatened to tarnish the image of his famous father and redefine his place within the Rooney legacy. Despite the upheaval caused by the revelation, Mickey Rooney Jr. navigated the complexities of his newfound truth with grace and resilience. He forged his own path in life, carving out a career and identity separate from the shadow of his famous father's legacy.
While the circumstances of his parentage may have been unconventional, Mickey Rooney Jr. emerged as a symbol of strength and resilience in the face of adversity. His story serves as a reminder of the complexities of family dynamics and the enduring power of love and acceptance to transcend the boundaries of biology and society. Princess Yasmin, The Royal Scandal the love affair between Rita Hayworth and Prince Ali Khan emerged as a captivating tale that transcended the glitz of Hollywood and the opulence of European aristocracy. Their passionate liaison, followed by a whirlwind marriage, would become a chapter etched in the annals of both cinematic and royal history. Rita Hayworth, synonymous with glamour and sensuality, found herself entangled with Prince Ali Khan, a charismatic figure and heir to the Aga Khan, during a time when the world was still recovering from the aftermath of World War II. Their affair, shrouded in secrecy, soon burst into the spotlight, capturing the imagination of a global audience eager for a glimpse into the lives of the rich and famous. As the media feasted on the details of their scandalous romance, the allure of Hollywood merged with the mystique of royalty, creating a narrative that transcended continents. The affair's crescendo came with a surprising twist. The couple decided to tie the knot. Rita Hayworth, already a cinematic luminary, became a princess through her marriage to Prince Ali Khan, adding a regal layer to her already glamorous persona. Princess Yasmin Aga Khan, born of this union, embodied the fusion of two worlds, Hollywood and royalty. Yet, the marriage and the scandalous affair that led to it were not without their challenges. The media's prying eyes and insatiable appetite for drama turned their every move into headlines, creating a pressure cooker of public scrutiny. The marriage between Hayworth and Khan, fueled by passion and fraught with the complexities of their respective backgrounds, attracted considerable attention. Their union was scrutinized not only for its cinematic and royal allure, but also for the clashes between tradition and modernity, as well as the clash of two vastly different worlds. In the end, the hayworth Khan affair and subsequent marriage became emblematic of an era where celebrity culture and royal prestige converged. It was a story that held the fascination of a global audience, blurring the lines between reality and the carefully constructed narratives of Hollywood and European aristocracy. As Rita Hayworth embraced her role as a princess and mother, the echoes of her scandalous affair reverberated through the years. The tale of the Hollywood siren and the prince remained a captivating chapter, one that Hollywood would not soon forget. Maria Cooper Janus, the object of speculation. Maria Cooper Janus, the daughter of Hollywood legend Gary Cooper and socialite Veronica Balfe, occupies a unique place in the annals of Tinseltown history. Born into the glitz and glamour of 1930s Hollywood, Maria's lineage is irrefutably tied to one of the silver screen's most iconic leading men. Yet her story is shrouded in whispers and speculation. Gary Cooper, renowned for his rugged charm and stoic on-screen presence, was a Hollywood heartthrob whose appeal extended far beyond the confines of the silver screen. His marriage to Veronica Balfe, a socialite of considerable stature, seemed to epitomize the ideal of Hollywood glamour, a union of two individuals from disparate worlds united by love and matrimony. However, beneath the veneer of marital bliss, rumors swirled about Gary Cooper's extramarital dalliances. Tales of secret trysts and clandestine affairs cast a shadow over his reputation, raising questions about the paternity of his children, including Maria. While there is no concrete evidence to support these rumors, they persist as a tantalizing footnote in the saga of Hollywood's golden age. For Maria Cooper Janice, navigating the complexities of her parentage has been a journey fraught with uncertainty. While she proudly carries the Cooper name and cherishes the memories of her childhood with her beloved father, the specter of speculation looms large, casting a veil of ambiguity over her familial legacy. Despite the rumors and innuendo, Maria has forged her own path in life, carving out a niche as an accomplished artist and author. Her talent and resilience stand as a testament to the indomitable spirit of the Cooper lineage, transcending the whispers of scandal that have long haunted her family's legacy. 
In the end, Maria Cooper Janice remains a testament to the enduring allure of Hollywood's golden age, a living embodiment of its triumphs and tribulations. Her story serves as a poignant reminder that behind the glitz and glamour lies a tapestry of human complexity, where truth and fiction intertwine to shape the narrative of a bygone era. Christopher Wilding, Born into Stardom Christopher Wilding occupies a unique place in the captivating saga of Hollywood's most iconic figures. Born into the glittering world of show business, Christopher's lineage is undeniably tied to two towering personalities of the silver screen, his mother, the legendary Elizabeth Taylor, and his father, actor Michael Wilding. Elizabeth Taylor, with her mesmerizing beauty and undeniable talent, captivated audiences around the globe, becoming a symbol of Hollywood glamour and sophistication. Her tumultuous romantic life, marked by a string of high-profile marriages and passionate affairs, only added to her mystique. It was during her third marriage to Michael Wilding, a distinguished British actor, that Christopher came into the world. Yet, amidst the glitz and glamour of Tinseltown, rumors and speculation swirled about Christopher's paternity, casting a shadow of doubt over his parentage. Elizabeth Taylor's tempestuous love life and the whispers of extramarital affairs fueled speculation about the true identity of Christopher's father. While Michael Wilding was officially recognized as Christopher's father, the persistent rumors surrounding Elizabeth Taylor's relationships with other leading men of the era, including figures like Eddie Fisher and Richard Burton, lent an air of intrigue to Christopher's origins. Despite the speculation, Christopher grew up under the watchful eye of his doting mother, Elizabeth Taylor, who showered him with love and affection. He lived a life of privilege and opulence, surrounded by the trappings of Hollywood royalty. Yet, beneath the veneer of celebrity, Christopher grappled with the weight of his family's legacy and the shadow of uncertainty that loomed over his paternity. As he came of age, Christopher carved out his own path in life, forging a career and identity separate from the glare of the spotlight that had illuminated his upbringing. Though the whispers of speculation continued to follow him, Christopher remained steadfast in his resolve to define himself on his own terms, far from the shadow of his famous parents. Today, Christopher Wilding stands as a testament to the enduring allure of Hollywood's golden age, a living link to a bygone era of glamour and intrigue. His story serves as a reminder of the complexities of fame and the indelible imprint of family legacy as he continues to navigate the legacy of his iconic parents while forging his own legacy in the annals of Hollywood history.